Good morning, YouTube. My name is Lama Jigme Kiyatso. This is the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to the ninth chapter of the Tao Te Ching. I'm going to start by switching to a share screen mode. All right, let's open up the text. Now teaching chapter nine. Fill your bowl to the brim and it will spill. Keep sharpening your knife and it will blunt. Greed is a fundamental driver for species on Earth. And to a limited extent, it can be beneficial. But beyond that point, it can be destructive. Nature, it can be argued, or I should say evolutionary biology, it was not sentient. It's just a mechanism that rewards, that's only really geared towards the rewarding of uh, procreation and rearing of the next generation. I, it's not really, it's not really a uh, thing to reward happiness, peace, fulfillment, or, and here's the funny part, or sustainability. So it doesn't, it doesn't actually prevent unsustainability, it just punishes unsustainability, <laughs> and sometimes rather drastically. So, with the, as you look upon this, the ancient wisdom is don't be a greedy bastard because if enough is good, better is not necessarily more good. Sometimes if enough is good, more is bad. That can be applied to every area of our life. Every pubescent boy wants to have sex. And in in, in to follow very primitive thinking, some sex with one person is good, therefore much sex with more people could be better. But it's really not. Let's move forward. Keep sharpening your knife and it will blunt. Chase after money and security and your heart will never run clenched. Hear this third statement is in harmony with the previous two, but it's worth exploring even further. We think that if we just have enough resources, if we just have enough money in the bank, we will relax, we will be at ease. Why? That seems to be inferred by Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which every college student learns in Psych 101. However, ironically, or I should say, paradoxically, that does not seem to be the case. For some strange reason, the more we indulge our greed, the stronger our greed gets. And satisfaction seems to draw back into an infinite horizon point and an infinite, infinite Infinity point upon the horizon. Not unlike one of those, that famous scene from Jaws where the camera does a rapid uh, pull away from Brody <laughs> during a shark attack. Care about people's approval and you will be the prisoner. Do your work, then step back, the only path to serenity. We can be greedy for resources. We can also be greedy for approval and for love. Buddha recognized this many centuries ago. But the more we, does, the more, but if we keep feeding that greed for approval, it's never satisfied. The Tibetans have a saying, 
Greed like a hungry dog is never satisfied. Dogs, in, and this, this is going to sound very barbaric, but in some tests, dogs have been found to eat themselves stiff where a cat won't. A cat might eat himself sick or eat himself drowsy, but he won't eat himself to death. A dog will. And so the Tibetan aphorism is useful. Greed like a dog is never satisfied. Our greed for approval, if indulged habitually, will rob us of peace and joy and autonomy. Do your work, then step back the only path to serenity. No one enough is enough. No one, there's a time to work and a time to rest. A time to be creative and a time for recreation. And that is all the Tao Te Ching that you get this morning. Or I should say, at this moment. May you and yours be healthy and happy. And if you'd like deeper linear instruction, both in the Tao Te Ching and in meditation, then you are welcome to register for the next series of live weekly um, meditation Tao Te Ching webinars. You will find the link in the doodly doo below. Goodbye, YouTube.